Hello my marvellous sausages, it's the 10th of May and another weekly reset looming, lots to go over this week again, we've got the second week of Guardian games to have a look at, Iron Banana is returning for the last time this season to the tower, we'll have a look at Eververse and we'll also have a look at Banshee and any other interesting things what tickle my fancy, but as always first of all let's have a look at the Eververse store. Right so first of all let's have a look at the silver options, we've got the reigning champion emote here which is, well there we are, there it is, shake that bag, bag, bedge, bodge, belt, in an aggressive manner, that's a thousand silver, phew, now it's worth noting that the wedge here is also going to be on sale for Bright Dust next week for 2,500 Bright Dust, according to uh, today in Destiny, which is very handy indeed, and also this champion shell as well, uh, that's going to be available for Bright Dust next week as well, it's currently available for 600 silver, but you'll be able to buy it next week for... 2850 brightest bloody hell that's a lot and then we got the water break emote as well which is rather entertaining uh, that was last week i believe for uh, brightest but of course it's 500 silver this week right then let's have a look at the brightest offerings first of all we've got the up for grabs shader i don't have this one oh my god <laughs> look at that that's quite loud, isn't it? Like me. <laughs> I think I like that, and I'm going to buy it. 300 Bright Dust, not bad at all. And uh, what else have we got here? We've got a ro Laurel Wreath Projection. So, you know, there we are. If you like your Laurel Wreaths, that's for you. Power Lift Emote. I've got this one, and I do rather like it. Here he goes. He's placing his feet, spreading it to widen the load, and then he's going to lift it, and... There we are. He's done it. Marvellous. That's not a bad emote. Uh, that's... Uh, uh, only 700 bright dust as well because it's a legendary one not bad at all then we've got the victory lap vehicle i.e sparrow that's quite nice let's have a look at the jet rather sexy jet on that baby too uh, and then you've got your normal boons there let's go and have a look now at the other bright dust milakis we've got the torchlight emote uh what's this oh that's quite cool i do like that yeah that's very nice how much is that for 3250 bloody hell that's a lot uh, what else have we got here? Sponsored shell, which is replete with lots of badges and offerings. You know what I really like about it? It looks like it's got, it's all stickers. Do you know what I mean? From the, let's see the reflection on it. You can see the dents and the dings in it, like it's all been stuck on a basic ghost. That's bloody great looking, that is very funny. Uh, 2850 bright dust. We've got the lawnmower here, a vehicle, which is very nice indeed. Let's have a look at the uh, booster on that, baby. Ooh, it's got a nice little, like, little dark dark matter bit in the middle there we like that uh, that one is 2500 bright dust we've got the team spirit ship let's have a look at this i don't like that it looks like a prong or a fork i don't know why don't like it but there we go if you want that baby that's 2000 brightest uh we've got the celebrated and elevated uh, celebrating emote which is which is nicely uh, clumsy and i do like that that's rather good uh oh i'm buying this it's the triumphant it's the ornament for the heir apparent and i look i, I really like the look of that i don't know why i'm gonna buy that baby because you know you can only buy it in the guardian games can't you it's well worth getting if you've got the heir apparent titan projection this week which is very nice indeed there it goes if you want that not replace the old indie with that baby paraversal singularity this is from the 30th anniversary and you know what that is quite nice isn't it how much is that because i never buy these babies i'm going to 450 brightest first time you see me buy a transmat effect what's the world coming to eldritch effects this is going to turn us into a little erd tree oh no it's not it's turning us into a sort of thing an eldritch thing there we are that's good uh we've got the sterile neutrino effects there which is quite pretty too and then let's have a look at what we've got for the shaders copper brand this is actually quite nice it's got some iridescence and animations on it as well very slight uh but it's worth buying if you like your slightly animated shaders that one gloam strife season of the arrivals oh it's got quite nice with the glows that hasn't it as well and not too bad on the old trousers as well i quite like that byzantium lotus for a change i'm sure we've had this about six times this bloody season uh right uh, there we are it's purple and yellow if you like your purple yellows that's the one for you and then bruised blush as well which reminds me of blueberry and raspberry smoothies for some reason perhaps you can tell me why so there we go that's all our selection 
questions for the Eververse. Let's go and see what goodies old Banshee's got for us up his skirt. Here we go. I wonder if it's going to be anything exciting. And here we go. Oh, it's a scathe lock. That's not bad at all. Don't see these very often. And what have we got here? Multi-kill clip, under pressure, steady rounds, fled magwell, hammer forge riffling, and full bore with a handling masterwork. What have they given this one? They've given it a D for dunce. Not many people keep that role, unfortunately. So there we go. That's not that grand. Although you may like it, who knows? Uh, Syncopation 53. Herbie's number. It's like we're playing bingo here. What have we got? Head Seeker, Compulsive Reloader, Alloy Magazine, Ricochet, Hey Rick, round, blah, 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 Rifling Rounds. <laughs> Hammer Frost Rifling Rounds, not Rick Rifling Rounds. And uh, Full Bar again. And it's got a range masterwork this time, which isn't too bad. And this is decidedly average C. Some people keep it, some don't. Mildly popular, that one. The Vision Sidearm. Let's take a squiz. One for all. Surplus. Steady rounds. Alloy magazine. Target sass. Control sass. With the pain of the sass handling. And uh, this has been given a C. Not alternating current, but it's been given a C. You know, for average. Reasonably popular. Averagely pop popular. Oh, we got a funnel web. Right, let's have a look at what we've got here. Focused Fury. It's quite a common role, this, isn't it? Steady hands, tactical mag, steady rounds, extended barrel and corkscrew rifling with a handling masterwork on that as well. And they've given this baby a D. Ugh, boo. Well, you know, it's, if you haven't got one, it's well worth picking up because it's a bloody great gun. But uh, not a popular role, that. Next, we have the Typhon GL5 grenade launcher. Uh, we have one for all, demolitionist. High explosive ordnance, sticky grenade, and we've got a hard lunch and a confined lunch, and we've also got a velocity masterwork on that baby too, and that's also had a C as well. Not very good this week so far, folks. Finally, we have the Eternity's Edge. Crikey, we've had a lot of bloody swords this week, and in fact, this is a god roll of this sword. It's been given an S, and it's got Assassin's Blade, Renta Strikes, and Infinite Guard, Hungry Edge, Honed Edge, and and tempered edge, no glen close, and an impact masterwork on that baby too. And for the Titans, of course, we have the Crown Splitter, cleft that head in twain, and we've got surrounded thresh, heavy guard, enduring blade, honed edge, and glen close, and it's got an impact masterwork as well. They've given this a C on like GG, and the Hunter Sword, the old quick fang, we got on guard, thresh, Swordmaster's Guard, Enduring Blade, Honed Edge, and Tempered Edge as well, with an Impact Masterwork, and that's had a C, so the Eternity's Edge for the Warlocks is the best bet this week. Let's have a quick look at mods, counterbalance stock today, free hand grip, backup mag, and we've got sprint grip as well with Banshee. Let's go and have a look at what Ada's mods are. Hello my tree bearing forearm merchant, we've got linear fusion rifle loader, unflinching sidearm aim, quick charge, and we've also got grenade launcher holster as well. Now armor wise we've got two pieces of interest, one of which is for the titans, and it's actually the tangled web greaves, let's have a little look at these babies right on the end here look at that 65 that's pretty bloody good good mobility 16 resilience is plus 16 as well the tower's taking ages to load today i'm afraid folks so i can't do much about that uh, we've got the intellect of uh, plus 13 and strength plus 16 as well look they've loaded in there they are look aren't they attractive yes and the hunters are the only other piece of armor worth looking at now to look at it there you wouldn't think 57 is any good but look at that we've got a resilience of plus 28 Trouble is, that's complete ass for hunters. We want it on the mobility. But there we go. That is a very high resilience stat, nonetheless. Right, next, we've had a bit of a hotfix pop out today. You may have noticed you've downloaded one. Now, there's not that much has happened, but there's two things that I wanted to point out to you. First of all, uh, Guardian Games playlist activities now grant progression towards your deep sight weapons and levels, which is good because it wasn't doing that before, so you can fill up your red bars and your weapon levels. Plus, the title SMG 
will now drop from your medallion turnings, which is nice. And the higher the medallion turning, the higher the drop chance, which is lovely as well. And also the drop rate has been tuned to correct the issue. So talking of Guardian games, let's go and see what's afoot this week. Right, so first of all, the Warlocks are doing pretty good. As you can see, we've won one, two, three, four, five out of seven days out of the whole week. So that's quite good. Keep it going. Watch my video about a Warlock secret, secret, secret plan if you haven't, because that's going to be very important as of tomorrow, because there's a very easy loss sector to farm for platinum medals. So keep an eye out for that. Let's go and have a look at Eva and see what's going on with her. We've got two new weekly bounties. So we've got crucible based ones here. We've got represent three crucible matches and 35 opponents defeated. And then we've also got match point as well. Complete three activities and earn a score of 100,000 in any Guardian Games playlist activity. So there we go. Those are our weekly bounties. Now we're back to the training playlist as well. The competitive one only opens up on the weekends, Friday to Monday rather. Uh, so what we've got is a new strike. And this one is the one in Arcadian Valley. It's the Proving Ground Strike. You know the one we all fight through the land tank. Slightly unclear on the Nightfall Weapon Rewards or whether it's going to be the birthplace of the Vile uh, Reward, which would be either Palindrome or Plug One. But nobody really knows at the moment. It's all a bit of confusion. So let me know in the comments if you tell me what rewards you're getting for your Nightfall Weapon there for the Guardian Games playlist. Hello, Lord Saladin. Right, last Iron Banner of this season. So, what you need to be aware of. First of all, you need to turn in all your tokens this week. This is the last opportunity you're going to get to do this, simply because uh, he's going over to the other reputation system that all the other vendors have as well. So make sure you plug those babies away to get your stuff. Oh, look, i got a finite impactor there for a change. Now, the uh, bounties for the Iron Banana, I think it's well worth picking them up and saving them for next season. Of course, you can cash them in. It's entirely up to you. But it's not really... It's the XP that these are going to be good for, which is also going to help you unlock stuff on your new artifact as well and as well on the uh, new season pass. Plus, there's going to be new Iron Banana weapons in Season 17 and you'll have a chance for these new weapons to drop when you catch them in in the new season. Catch them in? Cash them in! That's what I mean, you stupid boy. So I would actually, I'm going to be hoarding these because there's only two weeks left of the new season. Anywho. So the nightfall we have is the birthplace of the Vile Strike on Savathun's Throne World, which is very nice indeed. Talking of Savathun's Throne World, if you have a look there at the uh, Guardian Games Daily Focus, you can earn extra laurels in seasonal or Throne World activities today as well. That's nice to know. Let's go and have a look at the new stuff in uh, the Witch Queen Throne World Malarkeys. So we've got Altar of Reflection Insight today and uh, is there another one up here? Yes, there we go. Altar of Reflection Choice as well and uh, the weekly mission I believe is the Ritual. So that's quite nice to do there. So there we go. Another packed week for Destiny 2. Just two weeks left until Season 17 which is rather exciting. That feels like it came out incredibly quickly as well. Let me know how you're finding Guardian games. How do you think it's working out? Do you think it's fair or do you think it's too weighted one way or the other? I'd love to hear your comments. And don't forget, give me a like and a subscribe. That really helps the channel out. That would be utterly fantastic. And I've also got a live streaming channel as well where we stream Destiny 2 and Elden Ring as well and perhaps some other games as well. Let's just see how my fancy is tickled. Thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage out.